Glory to God. Hallelujah. How are you? It's Pastor Tommy here uh, just, just hanging out with you guys tonight, answering your, your prayers and uh, your calls. And, of course, we're giving them to Jesus, taking them before his throne. I wanted to talk with you guys just a little bit. I've got a... Uh, that apple I was showing you earlier, if you can see, right in the middle, there's a little tiny seed in there. And uh, the last message was about planting a good seed in good ground. But what I want to talk to you now about is, is the seed represents us. And, and, and you know what? God made the seed. He made a perfect little seed. And, and, and sometimes we're like that seed. We take it and we think, man, I have arrived. I am there. I'm, I'm, I'm a perfect little seed and I don't need to go any further. And, and I'm happy where I'm at. And, and just look how perfect I am. But you know what happens? That seed gets tossed into the ground and it dies. And, and the seed's wondering, hey, why are you doing this? I was perfect the way I was. And the pressure of the ground comes down and, and it gets wet and, and it decays, it dies. And before you know it, a plant's coming out of it. And the, and the seed's going, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And, and we're just like that in our lives. Uh, things happen and, and we thought we were good, but we're not. And God changes us. He wants to change us into something else. And we become that tree and... And, and before you know it, we're like, hey, I'm a pretty good looking tree. I look good. I feel good. I'm, a, I'm, I'm an apple tree. This is wonderful. And then all of a sudden something starts stretching on us and, and, and working in us. And, and before you know it, it's like, man, what's going on with my arm? What's going on with my branch? And, and boom, before you know it, you, you've got this apple out there. And, and now you're an apple. And it's like, well, hey, I'm a pretty good looking apple. I feel good. I'm shiny. I'm, I'm tasty. I'm, I've made it. I finally have arrived. And then God goes, nah, no, you're not what I want you to be yet. And it's like you go into that press and, and it's, 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 it smashes you. And, it, and it's like, why are you doing this? Why are these things of the world coming down on me? And, you know, I, I don't understand. And, and what happens is, is, you know, well, God didn't want you to be a seed. And, and he didn't really want you to be an apple. He wanted you to be applesauce. And, and then so you get going, you say, hey, I feel pretty good. I'm applesauce. I'm, I come in a nice container, and I'm, I'm, I'm there. I've arrived. I'm, I'm good. And, and then before you know it, they take that applesauce, and they push it, and they grind it some more. And uh, you guys know about the Garden of Gethsemane. Well, that word in Greek, Gethsemane, means the pressing of. When Jesus was in the garden, and, 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 and all the weight of the sins were coming down on him, and, and he knew what had to happen, um, he was pressed on. So that's why it's the Garden of Gethsemane, the pressing of. Well, when that applesauce gets pressed and it thinks, man, why are you doing this? I've arrived as an applesauce. Um, God wants to press you down into apple juice, apple cider. And, and, and so then you get to the point of, hey, I've arrived there. Um, I just want you guys to know that, that sometimes our ways are not God's ways. And where we're at right now, these guys that are going to jail and the different problems that are happening, we haven't arrived yet. And, and the, the Bible says that perfection comes when he comes. Perfection hasn't come yet. So I, I just, uh, peace, I speak peace over you in the name of Jesus right now for the situations that you're going through. Uh, it's going to be okay. God just doesn't have you where he wants you yet. And, uh, and when he comes back to get us, we'll all be fine. All right. I want to I go to the calls right now. Darlene in Ohio, how are you? 